One of the most common scenarios in mobile, web, and desktop applications is that of having more content on a given page than can fit on the user's screen. The scenario is so common, in fact, that we mostly take for granted the simple act of flicking our thumb or rolling the mouse wheel to scroll down a list of elements. However, the apparent simplicity of scrolling through an application's content hides quite a bit of complexity. Most of the time, even as app developers, there's not much interesting to worry about. Flutter and other frameworks handle the base cases for us. Until it is impossible for them to handle what you want because you want something a little more specific. Maybe cards in one of your list views are connected and clicking on a special icon on one should scroll to another. Or maybe like on iOS devices, no matter how far down you scrolled, you want the user to be able to return to the top with one tap of the app bar. And now that Flutter has grown into frequent desktop usage, which adds more screen real estate and things like keyboard shortcuts, matters are even more complicated. Consider this layout, which is a simplified version of desktop user interfaces in modern chat apps. The leftmost column generally holds all of your channels. The second column may show open threads, and finally, the largest column holds the current conversation. If your user presses the page up or page down buttons, which are common keyboard shortcuts for scrolling, what should happen? And most interestingly, how should Flutter know? Which brings us to the matter of scroll controllers, the class that, you know, helps you control scrolling. So where are they and how do they work? If you peek at widgets that scroll, like list view or grid view, you'll see an optional parameter, controller, of type scroll controller. This parameter is optional, so the first matter is whether or not list views can operate in the complete absence of a scroll controller. That answer is a decisive no. Everything that scrolls requires a controller to create and manipulate the scroll position. If we don't supply a scroll controller, the list view, which internally is a stateful widget, will spin up its own. So are we done here? If you care about doing something fancy, you pass a controller, and if not, you don't. Not quite. <laughs> There's another interesting parameter on list view, an optional Boolean called primary, which plays a big role. But before we can fully appreciate that parameter, we have to take a step back and talk about the primary scroll controller. Remember that iOS scenario we mentioned earlier where tapping on the app bar should always return the user to the top of the page? That would be very tricky to implement if your page's main list view simply created its own internal scroll controller and went about its day. How would its scroll controller ever hear about app bar taps? The solution here, like with a lot of things in Flutter, is to lift state up. Each route widget adds a high-level primary scroll controller widget around its entire subtree, which is an inherited widget that allows the rest of your code to call primary scroll controller dot of context and attain an omnipresent scroll controller. In a mobile app, this allows Flutter to add one more thing to the list of features that just work. Because list views can subscribe to the primary scroll controller, App bars can tell it about taps, and the whole system comes together with Flutter replicating that iOS experience out of the box. This pattern has been around in Flutter since the very beginning, and with the goal of requiring as few developers as possible to think about any of this. The default behavior has always been for vertical list views to make good on this mechanism and get their scroll controller from the inherited primary scroll controller widget. But there's a catch. Scroll controllers dislike when multiple scrollable widgets attach themselves in this way. Like getting invited to two weddings on the same day or having your birthday share a major holiday. Some things just shouldn't happen together. This almost never came up for the period of Flutter's life when developers were just making mobile apps. They rarely have more than one list view on the screen at the same time. But remember that chat app layout? It has three, and many Flutter developers were bumping into a gotcha as they built desktop apps like this. When this happens, Flutter would share this delightful note with you. The scroll controller is attached to multiple scroll views. 
This error is particularly fun because most developers haven't thought about any scroll controllers whatsoever in their app, so they naturally have no idea what it's talking about. It is okay if that was you. It was me too. So what do we do? How do we fix this? Well, remember that nullable Boolean parameter primary that I mentioned earlier? It is finally time to talk about it. That parameter controls whether or not the list view should subscribe to the primary scroll controller or create its own. Obviously, if you provide your own scroll controller, then primary must be false. By the way, primary defaults to true for vertical scrollable widgets and false for horizontal scrollable widgets, since that iOS behavior doesn't have an obvious application for side scrollers. This is why the error can appear whenever you have two vertically scrolling widgets on your screen. You might be asking yourself, is the default value of true still working for us? It's becoming something of a nuisance in desktop and web applications. If that's you, there is good news. In Flutter 3.3, the default value will remain true for mobile apps to preserve that fancy app bar tap behavior, but resolve to false on desktop and web to prevent Flutter developers from being accosted by this error message. Do note that when that happens, desktop developers will need to make sure they identify which scrollable should be primary and set that one to true. On that note, let's think about the chat app UI some more. Which list view makes sense to leave as primary and which two should we set to, well, not be primary? Though desktop and web apps lack that iOS-specific behavior we discussed earlier, the page up and page down keyboard shortcuts create a similar scenario. You may have guessed it, but you should leave primary set to true for whichever UI area you want to respond to default scrolling events. In this case, probably the main conversation panel. It is worth noting that this system intersects with Flutter's focus system. So if your app's focus is located here, then scrolling events like page up and page down will be routed to that list view, regardless of which list view boasts primary status. For more info on Flutter's focus system, check out the Diving Into Desktop talk from Google I.O. linked below. Hopefully, this helps you feel less annoyed by that error message, both because you now understand what on earth it's talking about and because it'll mostly fade into our distant memories starting with Flutter 3.3. For more info on Flutter, head to flutter.dev. 